So I thought I'd have a, a quick catch up with the guitarist from the band uh, last night. His name is Adam Hathaway and he also has a side project which I'm keen to play some songs from as we go through the show. But first of all, let's just uh, hear the first part of this interview. So I'm here at the Queenstown Performing Arts Centre, the brand new one, which is called Artemira. Artemira? Yes, the platform, is. Artemira. Uh, and uh, no, with no. Adam from the Eastern... Uh, but not Adam McGrath. Adam Hedaway, it's very confusing otherwise. Yeah, let's get that right. Yeah, yeah. okay. Not the main one. No, <laughs> Adam Hedaway. And Adam uh, is about to take the stage, but... Um, and it's sold out, which is brilliant, isn't it? On um, a Sunday night. Yeah, I mean, it feels great. Mm. I um, yeah, we play it in Ofa. You, know, you must know that place. I know Ofa. For so long, yeah. Fantastic place. So good. Yeah, well, yeah. That's the second time I played it this year, actually. Mm. And um, I'm not sure if that was sold out, but it felt like it was pretty full. And then um, yeah, so it's been a pretty successful weekend. Oh yeah, yeah that yeah, was Friday night, and now yeah. you're here in Queenstown. Yeah. In fact, everywhere you've been, like, uh, sounds to me like you've been attracting the crowds. Yeah, well, the Eastern had, uh, you know, has a following. Well, it does. And yeah. hasn't hadn't played for mm. two years really. Mm. So um, this this I believe is the start of a kind of intermittent tour over a few months, and mm. yeah, I'm stoked to be playing. You know, to just be like shredding. <laughs> along with the others and it's always a slightly different iteration tonight there's yeah. seven of us and yeah I'm just going to make rock history all over again there's a whole lot of styles you know it's very hard to put a put a label on the band you know yeah. it's like roots and, and there's this sort of punk influence as well where do you where are you leaning towards at the moment what are you what are you loving playing the best what sort of style of, of music well and well I feel like it's pretty good old school rock and roll country roots all that stuff yeah um, yeah, I mean, there's a bit of bluegrass and there's a bit of an Irish flavour in some of the new stuff as well. Mm. It, was, I th- it used to be labelled as a full, a fully a string band, and acoustic instruments only, right? <laughs> That's right, eh, John? I was only acoustic instruments Just and a full string band, the Eastern. Yeah. yeah. And now, now it's morphed into the, into the Eastern 2.0, which is the full noise rock, electric and acoustic. Just, you know, and so machine. That, that's satisfying, isn't it? You oh know? yeah, it is for me because I play electric guitar. Yeah, well, of course. Yeah. So, like you say, you want to shred. You want to. You want to show off. Yeah. You, you know. I mean, every guitarist oh. has an ego, don't they? Oh, I. You know? Yeah, I've lost um, hold of mine. It's gone <laughs> out, completely out through the roof, man. Yeah. <laughs> Are you the youngest in the band? Um, no, I'm the second youngest. Frankie's 24 and I'm 28. Okay. Yeah. All right. John is 39. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Is it is, okay? Brandy so, Hopley. so that's okay. So you don't, you don't, you don't get caught with that, um, you know, that kind of label. And and like when you, when you're touring, is there is still there like the runt of the band? Though. The r- even though I'm, even though I'm not the youngest, I'm still the band. Yeah. yeah, that's cool. That's a good way to be. Think yeah. yourself lucky. Yeah, <laughs> it goes like that. And and so, uh, okay. So so in terms of next uh, next steps, and uh, I mean, you're going to record next week at Sublime. Yeah, uh, yeah. in the Waitaki Valley. So that's for my band. Yeah, Adam Hathaway and the Haunters. Um, we, we recorded a sort of an album there in February and I, me and my um, uh, guitarist Al Moore decided that it wasn't good enough so we're going to just add a few songs. Oh, okay. Because yeah. you're perfectionist, like most musicians, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't used to be, but I decided that I should be, you know. It's just maybe an age thing. It's just Because I'm not the baby in that band. I'm, I rule that band with an iron fist and I'm very much the leader. <laughs> <laughs> they do what you say. Yeah, yeah. Nice to mix it up sometimes. So I can't wait to hear um, hear some of the stuff. So this is um, so I guess this won't be released to what the end of the year once you've, once um, you've done it. We're putting out another album in November. Yeah, we actually put out. You know what? I put out a single yesterday. No, oh, wait. Did? What day is it now? It's Sunday. Confusing. Sunday. For two days ago, I put out a single. Right. What's that called? Salt. Salt. Yeah. Okay. The inspiration for that was. Um, oh, it's just a good old self-loathing. Misery train. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. But in a, in a fun, dancey, rockin' way. And um, so that's an al- a different album we did that's coming out in November, so there's no rush with this other one that we're working on. Right. Yeah. Which is which is also a good thing, because I guess you want to really, <clears throat> you know, if, if you are wanting to make changes, you want to take your time. Yeah. Doesn't happen overnight, does it? No, no. I mean, you know, there's, it's good to find a balance. You don't want to overthink things. Sometimes it's good to just jump in, especially if you want, like, a live sound. And some different producers just want to throw you in there and just, like, 
make it all happen at once and some like to labour over it for longer for different reasons so I just think finding a balance is good it's good yeah. usually we've rushed it in a, in a good way because I like it to be kind of rough and kind of you know similar to mm. the eastern in some ways as well mm. and you know just the energy or passion over precision and energy over arrangements and but there's always a balance in any band finding the sweet spot i get that yeah. and you know i mean that's what the eastern is known for is the sort of raw energy and yeah. and just passion for yeah. the music isn't great it songs. which is, and great songs meaningful so, songs yeah yeah, yeah it's pretty the, cool the huh? rock and roll ed- 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 edge that most not many bands have in, mm. in this country anyway yeah. what's happened to rock and roll um, well, it it's, from time to time it, it, um, it sort of dies, but it's always there to come crashing through the ceiling and rear its ugly head once again. It's always threatening to do it. Mm. Mm. And, um, and look at bands like, say, Greta Van Fleet, you know, who yeah. got likened to Led Zepp. I mean, I haven't heard much from them lately, but they drew big crowds and yeah. that was seemed like the resurgence, but you just wonder whether it is. I'm it's, talking internationally, of course. But yeah, yeah. I mean, especially in New Zealand, there's a lot of... Most music's too safe. Most music, you know, mm. it's just sanitised and safe and, I don't know, and boring. Like, indie music is no... There's no... There's no... There's, um... I don't know, there's no edge. No risk. You yeah, no risk and there's, um... Yeah. I couldn't agree with you more, actually. Yeah. 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 It's like everything in New Zealand is, is to- too safe right now, Yeah, I think. it's all the same as yeah. well. Yeah. So it's yeah. nice to... I'll, I'm glad to be in a band like these so where we don't care about that. No, it's and fantastic. And where do you go to next? Um, well, down. so the next uh, section is the, the Christchurch Barlands tour, which is intermittently through from this month to the mm. end, maybe November, really. Yeah, October. so you're pretty busy for the next few months, aren't you? Oh, yeah. I, um, oh, there's maybe a Wellington show. October is a North Island run, which I can't make because I'm going to be playing at the Muscle Inn there. Day. Mm. And then it, because my own band starts touring in New, in October. So you're kind of overlapped. overlapping, right. And okay. we've all got lots on. Yeah. It's great. It's Isn't just, it good? Yeah, it's a yeah. massive contrast from last year. But you know, yeah. you've got to try to look after yourself at the same time. That's right. Get through it. Any any kind of sicknesses, you know, like I mean a lot of musicians have had to stop start. Did, did any any of the band fall in unwell or you yourself? Like Um, Jono and I both have the shakes right now from too many beers, but but uh, <laughs> but you know, it's okay. Yeah, but apart I mean like I mean like illness is like not self inflicted, yeah. like, you know, flu and COVID and what have you. Um, I've got COVID on. right now, but I'm just sort Terrific. of Terrific. Yeah, trying to let's um <laughs> let's kiss. Uh, let's not actually, uh, but that was just my gag, of course. Uh, what I meant was let's share spit because he was sick.